It's Monday morning, June 7th, 2021. My name is Alex. I'm your host coming at you with another another episode of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Uh, this one is uh, it's just some me mulling over some a subject having to do with uh, marketing, having to do with business, just thinking about it, talking about it. Uh, what is a red ocean? What is a blue ocean? Red ocean and blue ocean. They call that <clears throat> markets. They call markets red oceans and blue oceans when, when in a blue ocean there isn't, uh, you know, it's it's pretty much calm. The market is settled. Who uh, who pretty much owns the market? Who reigns the market? Who reigns over the market? What company reigns over the market? Um, which product has set the standard, essentially? And the only way to you know make the ocean red again is to introduce some form of competition, get it bloody with activity. That's uh, the concept of red ocean and blue ocean. So you have to ask yourself, or I have to ask myself, um, is it worth is it worth going um, is it worth going blue ocean, or is it worth going red ocean? When entry into the market is pretty much uh, will, will pretty much dictate how you navigate the market. Because if it's red when you come in, <clears throat> I may I may or may not want to enter at a time when it's red. Only because uh, you're going to be somewhat smaller. Assuming you're smaller, you're more independent, you're reliant on uh, your customer base on a small customer base. So if you don't have that kind of clout, if you don't have that kind of critical mass that can withstand an attack, some kind of a lateral attack from another organization, maybe they uh, go after your suppliers or something like that. This is assuming that you're, uh, that you're retailing something or, or you're providing some form of service. If if they choose to start a war with you in the red ocean, folks are going to get bloody. Folks are going to get torn up. And you have to be, uh, you have to be capable. I mean, you have to be capable regardless, even if it's blue ocean. But if it's red ocean, you have to be on your guard at all time. You have to uh, go into business pretty much expecting that you're going to be fighting for your life that you're going to be fighting for your livelihood. Um, in a blue ocean, in a, in, a calmer, in a calmer market, has a calmer market does have its advantages and disadvantages in that you can see, you can clearly see the outline of who owns what and where they are positioned in the market in terms of uh, ranking, where they are ranked in the market. So like who owns what, who, who dominates. And if uh, you are a capable professional, a corporate cowboy, if you will, then you'll be better apt at identifying, then you would be, what is it? You would be apt, you should be apt at identifying patterns, at identifying uh, missing variables between the organizations and the organizations and the market itself in order to uh, introduce that competition even 
into a market that isn't as competitive. And it doesn't mean that you're gonna create uh, a new system, an, entire, an entirely different paradigm. It just means that as a professional, your ability to identify problems, your, your ability to identify issues, where they sprout up enables you to better address them with other prospective uh, entrants into the market. I personally wouldn't take it upon myself to enter, but it's good in my line of work to be able to identify patterns and understand their implications. And only then, only then, because we aren't pattern creators. We, we are the patterns, essentially. Uh, we as, uh, as, as participants in the market, as participants in capitalism, we are the pattern. I mean, we are the data points. We're the ones who are tracked, and the patterns are created off of our backs. Um, but we can change our patterns. Because we can't necessarily change how people identify us, because those, uh, those concepts, those precepts are, are already innate to our character as, as market participants. Man, this one, this one got a little out there, huh? But we can change how we act and therefore change our perceived character. It's like you can't tell somebody that you're a good person and not act good. Your uh, people... People will necessarily know you by your acts. People will necessarily know you by how you conduct yourself in the market. That's nothing new. But in relation to business, in relation to the market, a lot of folks seem to forget this. And it is and it's not until it isn't until someone pushes to uh challenge or uh someone enters the market and uh, bloodies up the water a little bit, <laughs> that folks start paying attention. Folks start paying attention to uh, how they're acting. And when I say folks, I do mean companies, I mean corporations. It isn't until there's some blood in the water that you see who is a shark and who is not. That's why I myself probably wouldn't want to enter into a market if I don't have the, the capacity, if I don't have the stomach for blood. <laughs> and I do, don't get me wrong, I do. But at the same time, if you don't have uh, thick enough skin, if you don't have uh, sharp enough teeth, i.e. if you don't have enough people in your circle, if you don't have the resources within your reach. Those are questions you want to ask yourself before you uh, choose to engage, before you choose to engage in corporate war. But where there is a will, there is a way. And if you should so choose if you should so choose to be a diver or be a fisherman, not necessarily uh, 
participating in the market, but killing and gutting fish, sharks, whales, then you're thinking outside of the box. Then you're thinking like a corporate cowboy. And that's good. Because there are those individuals who, who know their role, who know their position in life, who are able to um, who indeed are able to enter into a market and know how to administer their resources, know how to acquire more resources because it's, it might be easier for them. Once you have a million dollars, it's easy to have, it's easy to get a second million. But um, if you don't have any money, if you don't have access to any resources, getting to that first million is hell and a half. <laughs> so you just have to know um, when and where and with who you're doing business with, as well as why, should be for righteous reasons. But then again, that should be obvious. Because when you're able to shake the right hands with individuals who are going to help you on your mission, who are going to provide you with, with the connection, who are going to provide you with the in into the market, then you can dictate how you will go about cutting up the market and targeting different sectors of it. And then that's going to be through, uh, through segmentation and, uh, and isolation. Red ocean, blue ocean, blue ocean and red beach. See, there's a, there's another aspect to that one. And that isn't really talked about. It wasn't talked about in my marketing class, at least. It was only red ocean and blue ocean. As if those were the, the ultimate terms to be coined. But no, they're not ultimate. You could continue building. You can always continue building on the foundational theories like blue ocean and red beach where yeah the ocean looks calm and it's blue but the beach is fucking bloody looking like normandy <laughs> and june 6th has just passed so very fitting very fitting So I definitely do want to give uh, a shout to those folks who answered the call of duty, who uh, volunteered themselves for who volunteered themselves for war without thinking twice about it. Um, not the smartest, but it does come with a sense of honor. I suppose it comes with a sense of pride and many of them, many, many, many of them died with their integrity intact. And uh, that is something to applaud. That is something to salute. Well, I just want to wish you a great week ahead. Summer is right around the corner temperatures are starting to pick up it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a warm little summer in terms of business at least with the way things are going the rumors of uh, of emails and masks and all this shit <laughs> I'm looking forward to it if you haven't done so yet you can visit us on Instagram, it's Corporate Cowboys. 
You can subscribe to our Patreon. It's a monthly subscription. Uh, bonus content should be up pretty soon. Um, and as in, by bonus, I mean spicy, spicier content. I'm going to start, I think, I'm going to start toning down uh, this public podcast, the one that I make public. And then on the the bonus content will just be a bunch uh, a bunch more spice if you will if you want to donate keep this operation non-profit you can do that uh, you could also write and send letters gifts whatever that's P.O. Box 3372 Rancho Cordova California 95742 and you can address it, uh, attention to Alex. Take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you soon.